back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. So today's video is a massive Primark haul. Um, I may have gone a bit over the top. We've got not one, not two, one of the big bags, four bags. So for this video, I did actually go to three different Primarks, one in the city and my two local ones. Believe it or not, I got most of the stuff from my local ones after I traveled all the way to a really big one. Um, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Okay, right, let's go straight into it. I've got a few pieces. Um, some are more wintry than they are autumn, um, but you know, my pumpkins are out. I'm ready to get the Christmas tree out now. This top is actually from Primark. It's one of the seamless ranges. I think it was like three pounds fifty. Um, I just put it on because my other one has got paint on. I've actually got about six of these, all in the same colour. I go through them like there's no tomorrow because I do live and die in them. Obviously, they're just a basic and they go with absolutely everything. But sometimes it's nicer to just wear a top than a bodysuit. Um, and I feel like most people have this in a bodysuit style from Zara. Um, so yeah, you can get the tops from there. They do loads of different colours like blue and pink. I think I've got the blue one. Um, but yeah, they're really really good and they're only three pounds fifty. I actually don't even know which bag to dive in first. Should I go with the smallest bag? Okay, we'll go with the biggest bag first. So first up, oh, we have got oh, a big, big teddy coat. This, oh, I'll just take the hanger out. So this is a long line teddy coat. This was only 35 pounds. £35 for a big teddy coat. I'm sorry, but if you were to get this from like H&M or Zara, you, you're looking at £80 to £100. Um, I've seen this all over TikTok and every single one that I went to didn't have it. And then the last prime that I went to, they had it, but only in an extra small. Normally I'm a small or a medium, but this actually fits. And I did try it on over a jumper as well. So it is, I would say oversized because there is no way in hell I'm a size 6 to 8. No. So yeah, it's just this bald teddy and it's got like silk lining. So it's not too hot when you wear it. Um, I'll show you a try on. It is super, super long. Um, when I tried it on, I was like, Mum, do I look silly in this? She was like, no, no, you do not. Um, it's got pockets, real pockets, and it's also got some buttons. Whether you'd have it buttoned up is obviously your choice. I personally wouldn't. And then it's also got cuff sleeves, so you know that they're not going to drag into anything or anything like that. But yeah, really, really good, and it's only £35. Okay, sticking with this bag. I actually wore this top yesterday for work, so sorry, it might have... Um, yeah, it does. It's got makeup on the collar um, but it's just a stripy turtleneck I actually pretty sure I picked this up in a large yeah I did I picked it up in a large because I wanted it to be quite oversized to wear with leggings and boots and um, but it's not that long so I ended up wearing it with jeans and like tucking it into a belt it's really really comfy the neck is super super tight but it is a roll neck so if you don't like things like high this is tight like it is super super tight it was about eight pounds maybe that's off the top of my head and i obviously don't have the tag anymore i'm sorry okay next we have some trousers uh these are these cream beige i'd say they're beige beige straight leg trousers they look a bit cropped so i'm hoping that they're gonna sit like just on the ankle and um, but i am five foot two so i doubt that very much and they have got elasticated waist, so I did pick these up in a 10. So let's hope that they stretch over my belly. Um, size 10, and they were only £10. I feel like you can wear them with blazers, that coat, that would be so cute. And um, like a full beige outfit with like a white top, that would be nice. Or you obviously you can wear these with like boots or loafers. I'd probably wear trainers because they don't really wear anything else. Um, but yeah, that's really, really nice. And it's obviously such a basic colour that you can mix and match with several different items. Okay, so next in this bag, I picked up this cap. This was £3.50. Um, can I pull off a cap? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to rock it anyway. I actually really, really like that. Where I'm going to wear it, I can't wear it to work, so I don't know where I'm going to wear it to, but I really, really like that. It's beige, and it's just got green writing that says Chicago on it, um, and it's got an adjustable back, so obviously if you've got a smaller or a fatter head, you can obviously adjust that. I'm joking, none of you have got fat heads, but you know, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's really, really cool. And if you're feeling super swaggy, you can wear it backwards. Okay, we're still in the first bag. Um, and next we have this stripy knitted 
jumper. I'd say this is cropped, um, but I'm not actually sure. I haven't tried it on yet. This is super, super thick. And the sleeves, they're like quite a wide sleeve. Um, so it will be quite like baggy on the wrist, which I personally like. It's got a hood and it's got some toggles. These toggles are, I was going to say fake, but they're not. You can tighten the hood if you want to. Um, but that's really, really nice. I picked this up in a medium and it was £14, which that leggings, jeans, faux leather leggings, joggers, anything that is super, super cozy. And do you know what? I've been trying to do this haul as quickly as possible because I really, really want to wear this, um, but I needed to film it first. So I'm going to get my hands into that probably today, probably going to wear it today. Got some basic hair bubbles. These are just beige scrunchies. These are only two pounds, but I really, really like these on my hair. I've got a pack in brown and black, um, but they're just softer than like normal hair bubbles. Um, so they don't pull or anything like that. So they're really, really nice. Okay, next, these bags, by the way, they're all a bit mixed and matched. So I haven't got like clothing, homeware or anything like that. Um, so next in this bag, we've actually, I picked this up for Milo. It's this pet box toy, um, five piece pet toy set. This was eight pounds. These are the toys that they've got. Milo will absolutely love that, but I'm just gonna quickly open it because I'm, I wanna make sure that they're safe and like no loose threads or anything like that. So in the box, we've got a basic rope toy. That's absolutely fine. He can have that. Another rope toy. Oh, he'll like that. There's no loose threads or anything like that, so I'm not worried that he's going to choke or anything. A tug toy. My absolutely loves playing tug of war. Another tug toy. I don't really like these frayed bits because when when my, well Milo especially when he like chews them they like come off, so I'll have to watch him with that one. Um, and then also a little throwing. He loves playing frisbee. My absolutely loves frisbee. It's his favourite toy that he's got, and um, we always take it out on a walk. So I feel like this one can stay in the house. These fabric pieces aren't going to last two seconds, but these, they're all like high quality and they are really, really stiff. So hopefully they'll last them longer than five minutes. Back to clothing we go. I picked up this checkered shirt. Um, this is really, really nice, long and it is cropped. I actually picked this up in a size 12 and it was £11. Um, the inspiration is to wear this open with some black jeans or leggings with some boots. And then also to match, I thought I could pair it with this like rustic crop knitted top. This I got in a size small and it was six pounds. I just want to see if that would actually go together. Mm, I feel like it would, but I didn't realize like this is more of an orange. And Oh, hold on. Yeah, that could totally go together. A nice pair of jeans and some boots. Um, so that was the thought process on that. The quality is really, really good. And I like the fact that it's got buttons that you can obviously choose to do up or down. Um, and then on the actual crop top itself, it has got like a semi-high neck. I still don't know how I feel about these. If you watch my other video, you'll know that I'm a bit like, because it's not here or there. I don't know if it's supposed to be low or high. Um, so I don't know how I feel about them yet, but we'll try that on. But looking at the arm, that looks really, really low down. Um, so I'm not sure if you might have a little bit of cheeky side boob or bra there. Next, we've got some hair clips. These were only a pound. I thought these were super, super basic. You know, if you're having like a semi hair wash day and you just want to like clip the backs up so it doesn't look like a massive grease ball. Another accessory, we've got a pack of earrings. These were two pounds. And for nine earrings, sorry, Sammy, you can't even count. It's 12 earrings, two pounds. That's like, I'm not going to do the maths, but really, really cheap. Look, there's so many pairs on there, super, super cute. And especially with Primark earrings, obviously they, they do go a bit like crusty dusty after a while, but they're so cheap so you can just throw them. Um, I lose earrings like there's no tomorrow, so I don't think I'd ever spend a lot of money on a pair of earrings. Um, so yeah, they're really, really good for two pounds. I've got another packet. These are just little hoops. She got quite a few um, piercings. So I like to wear like a hoop and then my two piercings and then I've got a few at the top as well. Um, so these little hoops are really, really good for day to day. I've seen everybody have this and I've been dying to get my hands on it. And it is this light blue, but like a curved crop shirt. This is really, really cute. I did pick this up in a bigger size because I did want it to be bigger rather than tighter. Um, I picked this up in a size 12 and this was £11. I don't know... I, when I watch people's hauls and things like that, everyone's been wearing this with blue jeans, but I don't think I've got the confidence to wear such a light outfit. Like, is that mad? Am I being mad? 
don't know but i really really like that and i can't wait to wear it and um, personally i'll probably wear it with black jeans i always wear black jeans i really need to stop doing that but yeah that's really really nice it's got a cute little front pocket um, and again obviously the buttons it's a button up so you can undo or do up the buttons as you wish so i picked up this night shirt um this is a gray oversized long sleeved shirt for bedtime um or just lounge around the house or having like a chill day I they didn't have this in a small, so I picked it up in an extra small and it was £11, but it is quite long, so I feel like it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, I don't, you could get matching trousers to go with this, but because of the length of it, I don't think there'd be any point in wearing any trousers with it, to be honest. It's like a massive oversized 90. If it's a bit short, then I might go get the trousers, but to be honest, I like to be free in the house. I hope that makes sense. Like, I don't like anything, like, claustrophobic comfort always super super comfy and this is so so soft like i can't explain how soft this is and um, so yeah i can't wait to put that in my pajama drawer that is going right at the top so i picked up a cream i don't know if that's cream or white um v-neck knitted top i feel like this would be really really nice with some like layered jewelry and um, i picked this up in a small and this was only eight pounds I feel like with white, obviously most white is see-through, but because this is knitted, I'm hoping it's going to be quite thick that you can't see anything underneath. Um, but that's really, really nice. It's not cropped, but it's not long either. Um, so I feel like that would be really nice in some jeans and some chunky boots and that big teddy coat. You know what, right? I love autumn and like checkered shirts and things like that, but I'm so ready to get the big coats out. So ready to get the big coats and the knitted wear. And I've just ordered some Uggs. So excited, so excited. Okay, next I picked up this brown long sleeved cropped t shirt. I'm pretty sure that's cropped. It's got like outside seam details, bit of a funky pattern on the front. Um, I picked this up in a small and this was seven pounds. I thought this was going to be like pretty basic to go with some jeans and some trainers. And I've actually just ordered some chocolate brown dunks. Um, so that's going to pair really, really nicely. And that would actually go really, really nice with these cargoes as well. Um, so that's an outfit idea. So yeah, I can't wait to style this. The only thing I would say about this is that it is really, really thin. Like, can you see how see-through that is there? I feel like with it being a dark color, it's like, it doesn't really matter as much, not gonna see much. Um, but yeah, it isn't thick or anything like that. It is just quite thin. But for Primark and for seven pounds, I think that's really, really good. Okay, moving on to the next bag. I picked up the most fluffiest, cutest snooty that you'll ever see in your life and um, this has got little cherries on literally cannot wait to put this on and um, so round lounge around the house editing chilling bedtime it's just screaming november december at me um i picked this up in a extra small to small and i'm pretty sure there's the tag this was 20 pounds. Now I know Primark do have a lot of these and I mean a lot. So there was ones with like little men on. That sounds really bizarre, but it, it was funky. It was pretty funky. There's like plain ones, there's checkered ones. There was a Winnie the Pooh one. The only reason I didn't get the Winnie the Pooh one to go with this one, because I would have got two. Do I need two? No, but I definitely would have got the Winnie the Pooh one if they had my size. They didn't, they only had large to extra large. And I thought that was a bit big. Um, and then I also looked in the men's section. They've got these with like burgers and stuff on. How cool was that? How cool is that? I was gonna get cagged one, but the only thing I will say is if you do look in the men's section, if there's any men in the back watching this, the men's snooties are a lot thinner than the women's. So I feel like you could just go and rock the cherries, to be honest, because it's a lot fluffier and it's a lot cuter. Um, and then also I like the fact that it's got a really, really chunky hood um, and it's got pockets. You know, if you just chill around the house, you can just put your phone in there or you need to put dog treats in there to bribe your dog to come inside from a wee. You know, it's it's functional. Okay, so I just picked up this from the underwear section. It is, that looks black on there, but it's not. It's a chocolate brown ribbed seamless set. These are everywhere. Um, I've had about 700 of these. They don't last very long, not gonna lie, but they are super, super comfy. I got this in a medium. The pants never fit. They always are bigger, but I need the bigger top, which is why I got it in a medium, not small. This is only six pounds and they have about one trillion zillion gazillion colors in these. Okay, I've got another set of pyjamas, but it's going to be hard to show you because it's actually all... Actually, it's probably going to be better for me to show you because it's coming off the cardboard. Um, but it's just a pyjama, long-sleeved and trousers set, black. Um, and then the pants are like a flared leg. Obviously, you'll see more in the try-on. 
Um, it's just a button down and I feel like these are, I've always thought that these are like old style pyjamas, do you know what I mean? Like nans and aunties and stuff. I don't know, but now I've got to remember that I am getting old and I need to wear nice pyjamas and not like shorts up my bum. So yeah, I decided to get some nice pyjamas. These I picked up in an extra small and they don't have the price on. Sorry. Um, they are though ridiculously soft. The only thing is, I did pick up an extra small because it did look, obviously it's trousers, so it's going to be quite long, but that arm looks quite tight. Um, so we'll see on the try on what that's like. Also in this bag, my mum got me a little present a while ago, um, back in like May or April, and she said that she lost it and she's only just given it to me. Um, but I'm just going to show you it quickly because I thought it was really, really cute. It's just a cute little necklace that says, like, it's got like a really cute quote on it, basically. Um, I, I thought it was a cut out of a magazine. I was like, what are you trying to say? But it actually says something like, If ever they're tomorrow when not together, there's something you need to always remember. You are braver than you think. Braver than you believe, stronger than you seem. And I can't read the rest of it because it, you actually can't see it. Um, but I thought that was really, really cute. And she was just like, oh, you've been down a bit. I just need you to remember that. Don't think I'll wear it. Um, I did tell her that. I'm not just fobbing her off. Don't think I'll wear it as such as a necklace. But I just thought it was really, really cute as it is. Slightly off topic, sorry. Um, back to the Primark haul. We have our last bag now, so we are nearly coming to an end. I've got, I really, really wanted the fluffy leggings, like the fluffy inside leggings, could not find them anywhere. Not brown, not cream, and literally nowhere. Um, so I went to my and got these. They're called the One Pair Super Cozy Leggings. I got them in a medium to large. I think they're gonna be slightly too big, and they were three pounds 50. Um, these, obviously they're just a pair of leggings, but they're a lot softer than usual leggings. Oh, can you see? Uh, it's hard for me to show you. But yeah, they're a lot softer than usual leggings. But they're not the fluffy leggings that I wanted. Um, but I will go and get those fluffy leggings at some point. From the home section, I just picked up two diffusers. These actually aren't mine. They're actually my little sister's. She's just had her bedroom decorated. Um, so I need to give them back to my mum. But if you are interested in getting the diffusers, there you are. They are 90p each, so they're really, really cheap. I like these diffusers, but they're not that strong, so I just kind of use them for decor purposes. I got one in Winter Spice for her and one in Eucalyptus. The Eucalyptus one is actually really, really nice. I have had this before. Next, we just got some basic white socks. £3.50, five pairs, and they're the no-show ones. What size did I get? Yeah. Okay, so the, if you didn't know, Primark have these little colours on top of their socks for sizes. I didn't actually know you could get sizes in socks, and every time I come home with socks, they're massive. Um, so I got small size two to five. So I've got size three feet. Also in the home section, I got this cute little body candle. Boobies! Um, this is great. She's also got a bum. How cute is that? This was... Again, it doesn't have a price on it, but I'm pretty sure it was about pound fifty. I don't think it's expensive at all. Um, but I honestly thought it'd be really cute like on that little shelf up there. Was that a bit weird? In bed looking at boobs. Maybe that's a bit weird. Maybe I'll put that in like the dressing room or something. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Um, I don't actually ever light these wax candles because I've realised that if you do light it, the wax goes everywhere. Um, so they are just for decor show. Also, if I did like that, she'd lose half of her body. Got some little hair ties. I actually love these. Um, I've got big hair bubbles in at the moment for my plaits and I need to swap them over to these before I go out later. Um, they actually, didn't realise, they come in brown and black and these were only one pound. Next, we have a basic gold necklace. I actually really want to put this on now to spice up this outfit. This was only £2 and it's just a thin basic chain. Have you really gone to Primark if you haven't picked up any wipes? These were £1. I got the Gentle Cleanse, Facial Cleansing Wipes for Sensitive Skin. They've got 15 wipes and they... That's in a different language. Um, they enrich with pro vitamins, cleanses and lifts away impurities, moisturizers, fragrance free, and dermatology tested. They're also vegan, um, and they're also well. It does say on here, do not flush them, do not flush them down the toilet. But one pounds. Does anybody else use makeup wipe? Now you're getting older and stuff, yeah. Does anybody else wipe their skin with a the makeup? And if they've got like makeup on the sink or something, they wipe the sink with the same makeup wipe because they're too lazy to go and get like the bleach or something out. No? Are they not just perfect for that? Yeah, I think so. The last item that we've got for this haul is a, another pack of earrings. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same packet as the other ones. Okay, that's what I get for going for, to 500 different Primarks, is I thought I bought 
the earrings um, in the same style. I haven't, but they are very, very similar. But yeah, for £2, you can't go wrong. These are more of like a silvery pinky tone. And then these are more of like a rose gold um, silver design. There's so many different designs and I absolutely love these. I used to always wear these when I was younger and did dance. And I remember like loads of people be like, are you earrings from Pandora? And I'd be like, yeah. No, hun, the one pound from Primark. Get yourself there. Those pyjamas were... Okay, yeah, so it says Jersey Boyfriend P. So I'm guessing that's the black pyjamas. They were £14. And then the body shape candle was £1.50. So that is an absolute steal. But all in all, I did splurge in Primark this time around. I did get quite a lot. Um, compared to my first ever... I think it was my first ever video I did a Primark haul. That was... Well, I filmed it the wrong way to start with. Um, so I'm hoping if I watch that one back and then watch this one, we can see some sort of improvement with my videos and the editing skills, maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.